I'm Africa Harrigan for Legit TV. I'm at Port Authority where the Committee on Health and Hospitals met with officials regionally and locally to discuss healthcare issues in the Virgin Islands. Some of the issues that were discussed were grant funding opportunities, the Medicaid population, the government of the Virgin Islands being in compliance with federal laws and guidelines, the home visitation program, trainings, and staying up to date with all documentations. Why was it important to have this meeting today? It was very important. It gave the senators who are members of the Committee of Health, Hospital and Human Services an opportunity to meet those individuals from the U.S. Department of Health, the U.S. Department of Human Services, along with members from CMS who came and really gave us a status update, if I can say, or evaluation as to how we're doing in terms of grants that we can apply for, grants that we're receiving, utilization of those grants, other grants um, that we have the possibility of receiving in the Virgin Islands. Uh, they also shared with us some of the concerns that they have in terms of, of Department of Health, Department of Human Services. Uh, they were very uh, free in terms of giving us information as to, I think as to how we could improve. They're gonna do some follow up with sending us information. So I think it was a very, very good meeting today. Are you getting timely reports and are you getting the data that you need so that we can continue? to get those grants and are you having issues and if you're having issues can you be specific because you're going to have those individuals coming on the floor for confirmation hearing uh, very soon. Um, the, the, the biggest issue from my end has been the lack of um, uh, timely response to the, the annual reports that are, that are required for um, the, the, our block grants. Um, uh, because at the end of the day, what will happen is that if if uh, the the um, the reports are not done, then 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 we need to revisit the, the amount of funds that 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 okay. were I'm, I'm allocated to, to the Virgin Islands for for behavioral health. Is there any consideration given, um, particularly as it relates to applying for waivers and so forth, given our uniqueness, our location, uh, the influx of immigrants and so forth that we have here? So you said you want to demonstrate how you do the Medicaid program slightly different and the benefit it is to the government, local government, the benefit it is to the federal government, and the benefit it is to the population. Um, Have we been taking advantage of that? Well, again, it depends on what you want to waive. Uh, um, most of the things that are waived are um, you know, uh, freedom of choice. So we say that a state wants to do mandatory managed care for the population, and the Medicaid population has freedom to choose any provider they want to go to. So you have to waive that privilege. Right now, the Virgin Islands has a fee-for-service Medicaid program. You go to any provider, any doctor you want. So if you want to change that, you'd have to waive that statute. Uh, the program, the Medicaid program has to be the same in St. Thomas, as is in St. Croix, as it is in St. John, and as it is in every city, city on every island. So if you want to make it one type of program in one part of the island and another part of another island, you have to waive that. Will you be able to secure more of grants for the Virgin Islands to assist with the healthcare system expenses? I won't say it like tomorrow, but eventually we will because a lot of this discussion had to do with um, data collection. Uh, some of the discussion had to do with uh, establishing a grant renting office and grant monitoring. So I think eventually it will, and, and, and my mindset is that I want to develop the procedure as to how we're going to be able to move forward with both those departments and the executive branch in order for the Virgin Islands to receive more grants and be able to spend the grants in a timely manner. I mean, it was revealed to us that we have lost a couple million dollars in grants because of reporting or not spending the money. So I think overall we can do a better job. If we want to improve the health system in the Virgin Islands, we got to utilize those federal grants that are out there. We can't continue to want additional monies from the legislature, and we're not recouping the monies that we can get federally. You know, so I, I'm looking forward to that. We have Medicare administrator contractors who come to the Virgin Islands physically, face to face, and conduct at least at least two two trainings a year because one of my staff comes from Puerto Rico to do the training with them too. And we have webinars, we have conference calls. We do provide information, we do provide updates. What's being done with that information? Okay, well, and that's where we come in. That's where I want to follow up. I don't want to just have a meeting for having a meeting sure. You know, we want to, 
at the end of 2015, we could go back to our people and say, these are the improvements we made as a result of the meeting that we had with those individuals, telling them our concerns, this is how we have been able to progress. And I don't want to leave here and then we just forget about everything, you know, so. I think we're in complete agreement. So okay. what we can do, I think is probably easy, is to show you the trainings that have happened. Okay. And then for as much as we have forward plans for the next six months, I, okay. I don't want to speak for my colleagues of how far in advance they're planning them, okay. but give you that landscape. And again, however, we train the state. Are you satisfied overall with how the meeting went today? And if so, what is the next step? I'm very satisfied because uh, I think it was a very good reception. They, they were very open. Uh, they all literally said that they're willing to provide additional information for us to be able to peruse and see exactly where we are. Um, they have agreed to come back. Um, a couple individuals agreed to come back later down this year. They agreed to provide technical assistance. They agreed to help us with the grant writing process. You know, so I think those are big wins to the Virgin Islands. Now the key is for us to actually utilize their help. You know, so we're going to have to pound that home to the nominee for Department of Health, the nominee for Department of Human Services, that we have to use our resources in order to get additional grants into the Virgin Islands. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Africa Harrigan for Legit TV.